Et voilà. My finest hand-cut twice-cooked chips. Enjoy. Chips for lunch. How marvellous. You're a doctor, you can't say that. We all deserve a treat once in a while. And what better company for a late lunch on my afternoon off? Yeah, we know what you're doing. You should be on a flight to Australia by now. Yeah, trying to make it up to my mum. Telling her how sorry you are for everything you did with Layla. Bernice made it very clear she didn't want to see me. Right, well, you've left us no choice. You didn't keep your part of the deal. But I did my very best. And if either of you breathe a word of this to Diane... It's too late. She knows everything. She knows? Yeah, well, I was texting her and I didn't want to lie. So you've got about, um, an hour? Yeah, we've got this tracking app. She landed from Portugal about five minutes ago. Oh, you're right, Dad. You're not hungry anymore. Just remembered. Got an urgent call to attend to. Well, I thought you had the afternoon off. I have. You can completely troll with. See, so, um, it's not officially Theo, it's, uh, Alex. It'll always be a Theo to us. Sorry. The baby. Uh, Alex is the name that May gave him. Of course. Apologies. I'm miles away. I did ring social services after your lecture. <laughs> Nothing bad happened. It was more a reminder than a lecture. I was going to ask you if you had a spare room to rent, but I suppose with a new baby... <laughs> you can keep on the couch for a couple of nights if you want. What's wrong with Dan's? Ooh, is it always this cold in Yorkshire? Or has Portugal made me soft? <laughs> it's freezing, isn't it? Uh, welcome home. Oh, thanks, Pat. You're not fooling anyone, Liam. I'll just... I'll be, um, somewhere... Diane! <laughs> Didn't see you there. Good flight, was it? And how was Paul? A joy, once he started feeling better. Oh. I was enjoying myself and all, until I got that text from Gabby. What were you thinking, Liam? Making a move on Layla, with Bernice's side of the bed still warm. I was so covered in guilt. I was this close to getting on a flight and throwing myself at Bernice's mercy, but... She told me not to bother. Um, things are a bit... complicated over there. She asked me to tell you that she's stopping on the other side of the world for longer than she thought. I knew something was wrong. She's met someone, hasn't she? Well, if she has, she hasn't told me. She said Dee Dee needs her, and this time she doesn't want to let her down. So that's it? She's staying in Australia? What about us? Never say never. The heart wants what it wants, even if life sometimes gets in the way. I'll always love her, Dan. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. I realise I've put you in an intolerable position. I'll be staying at the B&B &B until I find somewhere else. That's... if you'll let me, of course. No need, Pat. You might be a prize prawn with questionable taste in women, but that daughter of yours has had enough upsets in her life. I've got a box of custard tarts from Portugal. I thought we could share them after tea. I will look forward to that <laughs> enormously. All right. Pay for the sausages and I'm off. <laughs> uh, David. Uh, this